Hey guys, here is a makeup video. Who am I? Dude, I already have to pee. I've been drinking so much water today. I have had... We recently adopted a 12 year old sulcata tortoise and she was just yawning outside and I've never seen a tortoise yawn and that was like the weirdest slash cutest thing I've ever seen. I wish I could show you guys that. <laughs> I um, don't need to mention that I'm a mom in every single video, but I feel like the lack of time that I've had to like explore and play with new makeup today and falling upon someone's channel that I'll talk about in a second has led me to today. And I'm actually really excited to take my nap time for my kids and use it to explore some makeup. So I used to be, and I'm trying to get out of this now, but I used to be the type of person that if I was gonna spend any time putting on makeup, I would have to do like my full face because I would be like, okay, I'm just gonna do this. And then I'd be like, okay, this doesn't look complete to me because I'm so used to wearing so much makeup. So um, since I got my eyebrows done and nano browed, that's kind of like less of a thing because that's what was always the piece that was like, okay, it's so patchy and like my eyebrows just look weird. So anyways, I, I'm trying to get out of that because as someone who has very little time in the day to day to like put myself together, brush my hair, put makeup on, like literally just put myself together. I don't have a lot of time to do that every day. So I would love to find some like holy grail products that I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I know exactly how to use that. I know I love it. I know my shade. I know that I have it. Um, I've just been kind of like struggling to find a good new quick um, makeup routine. Not that I don't want to put tons of makeup on and still do fun colors and stuff sometimes, but on the day to day, like when I have to be somewhere and I need to look like I like put a little bit of effort in, I need some sort of a routine and I am going to be playing with some products today that are new or that have also just been sitting in my makeup room and I haven't played with them. So today we're exploring, I'm trying to create basically a no makeup kind of makeup look where I'm contoured, I'm glowing, it doesn't take a lot of effort, it's quick. So this video was actually inspired by um, Kali Ledger. I just stumbled across this beautiful human on YouTube like a day ago. I just love the aesthetic of her videos. She's like a lot younger than me, I think. So her skin is just like amazing. I have a lot more fine lines, pores, wrinkles, um, but she's gorgeous. I love her videos were almost like therapeutic to listen to. They're just very calm. She explains what she's doing. She's got this lovely accent. So highly recommend checking her out. I'll link her for you guys below, but she only uses cream products on her skin because she wants to feel like she pretty much has like no makeup on, which, I love that. I've never been the type of person that is into that, but as I've gotten older and have less and less time, that's what I need to be into. So today we're trying out a new product. I, you might've seen it on my Instagram. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in three in fair. It's kind of like a peachy tone. And I thought maybe it was going to be too peachy when I pulled it out and you see it next to my skin, but um, actually it's very, uh, transparent, translucent, I should say. And so it's very forgiving. They also have a very wide range of shades. So we're going to go through and play with some products and see how these different products are looking because I just need to figure out exactly what products I can use to create this like quick kind of flawless, effortless, glowy, no makeup, makeup look. So I, filled this bin with some makeup today and let's just start playing for fun. I'm going to start, I haven't done this in so long, but I don't know why I just like got a hair up my ass. I need to do it. So I'm going to be using the Liss natural finish skin loyalty, blur and mattify setting spray. This will probably offset a little bit of the glow. That could be a good thing. We'll see. I did also start off with a little bit of glow recipe. Um, Hyaluronic Serum, which is already soaked into my skin. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna keep this away from this area, uh, basically where this line and this continues. I'm gonna keep it away from that personally because um, I uh, have 
a lot of pores right there and anytime I put any sort of highlight right there it ends up just accentuating my pores so it's fine that they're there but I don't want to accentuate them that's for sure oh my gosh there's something in my freaking eye I always see it I see it it's an eyelash okay so I'm gonna put this on my chin here oh not in the middle Very interested to see. Um, so I used this on Instagram the other day just for fun, like when it came in, because I just wanted to see what it looked like. And it looked really freaking good. It was just, it looked really good in the sun too. So I'm just gonna kind of blend that into place. I posted this the other day, like, look how pretty that is. I posted this the other day on Instagram, like I said, and someone was like, yeah, and then my husband tells me I look sweaty. <laughs> Dude, men are so annoying. Like, do you know how long it took me and how much money I spent on this? Like, you better like it. That gives like such like a pretty glow. I really like that. What do we do next? I seriously just need to refigure this whole routine. So I honestly don't know what I'm doing. So bear with me. We're trying some things out together. So for contour, I'm gonna use this cool tone. Um, this is Laguna Beach uh, bronze stick. This is really not a bronzer because it's so cool tone for me, but um, I'm kind of figuring out where my cheekbone is. I learned a few tips from uh, Kali. I think that like, I keep wanting to say her name Kali, but I heard her say it on one of her videos and she didn't say it like that, so. She was saying, which I never really even knew this, maybe you did, but she pretty much said that a bronzer you use where the sun hits you and then a cool toned contour you use where the shadows are and the hollows are, which, how did I not know that? Like maybe I knew that in the back of my mind, but I'm not a makeup artist, guys. I'm just someone who likes to put makeup on her face. That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. So that's a nice, cool tone, but still gets the trick done. We're going to Cabo um, for Nick's birthday so he can surf. And I just like need a really quick and easy, nice little routine that I can do to like go to dinner because it's going to be warm. I don't need to be like sweating all my makeup off, you know, like wearing like powder and like, like false lashes, like no thanks. So I grabbed some bronzer too. Um, don't really know, honestly, how do you, I've like really, I guess I've never really known how to use bronzer, but this is the Refi bronzer in sand. And I think I'm just gonna kind of put that right above cause that's where the sun would be hitting my cheek right here. And then I'll put kind of blush right above that. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. There, there you go. I feel like a 12 year old with my hair like this. I'm not sure I'm quite a fan, but uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit with this same stick that I used for my face. I'm gonna continue it up over this way, under my brows. Okay, for blush, I've got the Ofra Cheek and Lip Cream in Devoted. It's like just this like nice little kind of natural, super messy, because I'm a mess shade. It's kind of like orangey pink, corally. And on my nose. cheeks I feel like if you're gonna do nothing with your makeup definitely like a little bit of like blush or bronzer by itself and then a little bit of like cream highlight always makes a big difference ignore the fact that like my face is not matching this down here because Actually, no, I'll put a little bronzer on just so it doesn't distract you. 
but um, I like am in the process of um, removing my tanner right now for our trip. So I'm like, I'm kind of pale right now. Like my chest is a little pale. I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer for a few areas here. This is gonna help lighten it up a little bit too, I think. I'm gonna do around my nose, that tends to kind of sometimes get a little red. Around my under eyes, just a touch. I've got some like veins poking through on my eyes, so I'm just gonna cover those up a little bit. Not only are the veins there, but they tend to get like a little red near my lash line, which gives a not glowy, not well rested look. So kind of going over that. I've got a lot of uneven skin tone right here. I don't know if you can tell. I'm just gonna put a little bit here to lighten up the whole look and cover a tiny bit of that. I'm gonna go back in with the contour stick that I used and just add a little bit of contour to my eye area. I would love to hear if you guys have any products for this type of look that you just think are great that you have discovered because I would love to try them out. A little bit of this on the bottom here. Um, put a little bit of this on my lips. Whoa, that's not a little bit, that's a lot, holy shit. I'm gonna take a little bit of Stark Naked Lip Pencil by Urban Decay and line my lips a little bit. I need another one of these. This thing's like on its last freaking leg. I'm taking the LA Girl Perfect Precision Liner in Cafe just to kind of deepen the edges a little bit of this. When I swatched it, it looked darker. Now it kind of doesn't. <laughs> This is really pretty. I've been using this lately. This is the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Shimmer Top Coat in Icicle. Looks like this. I don't know if you can actually get this anymore because I think she already closed the brand down, but it's just this really nice little like shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it on my finger? It's just this like really pretty fine, I don't wanna say like glitter, but kind of glitter. And you can layer this to make it like even more glittery if you want. I'm taking a little bit of the Ofra X Ladura Liquid Highlighter in Sun. A little bit of that right here on my lower lash line. Kind of right in the middle. And then here. I'm going to oh, <clears throat> curl my lashes. They've been like so short lately. I don't know what the deal is. I need to start up with my serums again, but I don't wanna wear fake lashes very much cause they are just a pain. And every other second, my son slaps me in the face with his hand. So <laughs> they would just get slapped right off my freaking face. I'm gonna use the uh, Better Than Sex, or Naturally Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. I feel like this would be kind of optional with this look, but I definitely feel better when I have mascara on, so we're gonna go with that. I think I'm just gonna do it on the upper lashes today. Definitely need some, a little bit more on the brows right now. I'm gonna take the only thing I really use for my eyebrows, which is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This one's a neutral Nana. 
and I'm just gonna create some more brow hairs. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Herb. I usually just use a tiny bit of this to kind of like soften up my brush strokes with my other product and to give a little bit of a 3D element if it can catch any of my five eyebrow hairs, you know. I'm gonna darken this freckle of mine right here as well. I'm taking the Juvia's Place powder in I Am Magic Setting Powder White Sands. I'm just gonna take like a tiny, did I bring a Yes, I did, okay. I'm just grabbing like a tiny bit of it and like hitting most of it off just cause I just want a, like a smidgen of it kinda, you know what I mean? I just wanna tone that down a tiny bit and then set a little bit of the powder, but I'm keeping it pretty minimal. What else, are we done? I think this is pretty good. I don't know how it looks like to y'all in the camera, but from what I'm seeing in the mirror, this was good with the powder here. That like highlight is just really pretty and natural. It's not like, like I don't ever really wear, sometimes I'll wear a little bit, but I kind of stay away from like powder highlights now just because of I don't really go out at night as much as I used to. Like that for me was like more of a nighttime thing. So I think this is a good like daytime highlight without just being like powder, you know, and just being really dry looking. So this is really good. I It feels weird not having like foundation on because usually when I do this many steps with my makeup, I'm putting foundation on too. But the little pops of concealer were really good. I think next time I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on the contour. I think it's a little much right now. Uh, I still like it, I would still wear out, but like next time I'm gonna put less product because you can always add more, but it's a lot harder to take it away. So next time I'm gonna add less contour um, right off the bat and like build to what I'm looking for. But I think overall, this is a really pretty little look and I need to get my tanner back on so everything's kind of matching and whatever. Um, actually, how would this look? I'll put this on the light areas and see how it looks. If I could just actually hit my face with it, where, what, where is it going? <laughs> Here is the final no makeup makeup look. Obviously I'm wearing makeup. Like maybe some dudes wouldn't know that I'm wearing makeup, but like people that wear makeup know that I'm wearing makeup. But overall this, without talking to a camera would probably take me like eight to 10 minutes to do. So pretty down with that. I love how like effortless it looks. Um, next time I would definitely start with less contour right off the bat. I hadn't used that product in a really long time and it kind of just like crept up on me, but you can always add more. It's really hard to take it away. So next time I'm definitely gonna like add less of the contour, start with less, less is more. Um, but overall, this was like very quick, very easy. I like how it looks. I don't think that it's accentuating anything I don't want it to with like the highlight. I'm loving that product. And I am actually looking forward to hearing your favorite products to create maybe a glowy or effortless no makeup makeup look. I would love to hear what you guys think. So let me know your favorite products in the comments below and let me know what you guys think. How did, how did this turn out? Do we approve? What do we think? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I wanna show you guys this out in the sun. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking bright. I can't even open my eyes. Glow right there. I can't hardly see anything in the viewfinder, but that glow, I can just see a little bit of it right there. It's so pretty. Also, since we're out here, I thought I'd take you guys with me. You, you thought this video was over, didn't you? To see if we have any chicken eggs. Our chickens just started laying eggs and it's so exciting. Also, how cute are these? Aren't these just like adorable? Like wearing my husband's, they're like gel sandals. They're so comfortable. Watch me fall down this entire hill because like I have clown feet on right now. Yeah, I didn't get a spider to the face that time. Okay, so this is their favorite laying bin out of all of these. Let's see. Oh, there's an 
egg. You guys have been slacking. Where's the other ones? We usually have been getting two a day, but look at this little tiny baby one. Thanks for the egg, girls. I don't know which one of you laid this, but you crushed it. Not literally, figuratively. I'm gonna head back up. I think I just had an Instacart order delivered, but wanted to show you this outside so you could see what it looked like. But anyways, now I'm actually leaving. Now I'm actually ending the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.